Hey everybody, AJ McWhorter here, your tournament director for the Hobie Bass Open Series anchored by PowerPole. We are here in Jasper, Texas on Lake Sam Rayburn. We're here at the Umphrey Family Pavilion. This is the host location to all the big bass boat tournaments that this lake will host. But this weekend, it's all about us, the kayak anglers fishing Lake Sam Rayburn. And we're so excited to have you here for our sixth event of the 2021 season. This is our first visit to this Texas Bass Factory, and it presents yet another challenge for our anglers as they are dealing with the worst flood conditions of all time. There were roads closed, ramps closed, and twice the surface area of water for these anglers to, to spread out into. They're going to be fishing backyards, campgrounds, forests, and other obstacles that have never seen water before that these bass have moved into. And some of these bass are giants, as we've seen some of our anglers catch them in practice already. Additionally, our anglers will have less boats than this lake has ever seen. With so many ramps closed, there are boats on the water, but it's nothing like what a Saturday in early June would present uh, this fishery. People travel from all over the country to fish this place, and we're out here fishing for money in kayaks at the Hobie Bass Open Series this weekend. It sets up to showcase why we kayak fish, and the advantage that we have like never before. We can't wait to see how it plays out. Before we dive into some of these details, I wanna give a, a shout for our next event, we're down here in Texas, Southeast Texas this weekend. In a couple more weeks, we're gonna be in the Northeast, Ticonderoga area in New York. We're gonna fish Lake Champlain, smallmouth, largemouth bass, a huge fishery. Uh, we cannot wait to get up to that part of the country and see uh, what those anglers and what that fishery will, will present to our, our anglers in this series. Then later this summer, we've got the Susquehanna River in Pennsylvania. We'll move out to the Mississippi River in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and then we'll wrap up this season on Lake Pickwick in Counts, Tennessee, and then we'll have our Tournament of Champions. Our anglers are fishing for a top three qualifier for that Tournament of Champions. It's a three-day event. 50 anglers We'll fish Lake Eufaula in Eufaula, Alabama for a $75,000 guaranteed payout that will go to the top 10, 20% of the field. We're also fishing for Angler of the Year points. Our far wide Angler of the Year takes your best three events of the season and then adds them to your Tournament of Champions and those anglers are fishing for three qualifying spots for the Hobie Fishing Worlds. And the winner is fishing for $5,000, a Pro Angler 14 360 rigged up from all of our great sponsors in a custom orange and black BOS camo. Second and third are also fishing for cash, $3,000 and $2,000 respectively, and some great prizes from our sponsors. Last year, our reigning angler of the year, Drew Gregory, put his work in in the last three events of the year. So with us still having four events, there's plenty of time. I'm sorry, five events, including this one. There's plenty of time for anybody to still make a run at our Angler of the Year. Right now, we've got a pretty star-studded cast leading the far wide Angler of the Year. Ewing Miner, Cody Milton, and Russ Snyders are all in that top three and they're all going to be fishing this weekend on Lake Sam Rayburn. So we can't wait to see how that story unfolds uh, as this event unfolds. But keep an eye out down the list. We've got guys like Brian Howe, who is a local to Texas and has a first and a second place so far this year. So it's going to be fun to watch, but that's a different story inside of this event. This event has 114 registered anglers. That's a payout of over $22,000 to the top 12. First place will have a big check or $6,300. We will send the full pay scale out to our anglers via an email on day one and publish it on Facebook as well. 
We also have a Bassin Magazine Big Bass worth $400 to the largest bass caught in length this particular weekend. We'll award that on day two. All right, we're going to dive into some of the event-specific details. Something we want you to start doing for your safety is to check in and check out each day on your TourneyX app. It's a great feature. It's easy to do. You can do it at any point to start the morning, but we'd appreciate if you do it at the ramp or your launch access that you're going to get on the lake. Then check out once you get back to your vehicle or once you get back to a safe location. It's really for safety. It helps us know where you are. It helps us know that you're okay, even though we're not communicating with you throughout the day. Please do the same thing on day two. Check in when you arrive and check out when you're off the water. The times for this event will all be central time. First launch is 5.30 a.m. What first launch means to us here at the Hobie Bass Open Series is that is the first time you're allowed to leave your launch area. You can get on the water before 5.30, but you must stay within that area. We allow you to do this so you're not blocking the ramp or access area to other competitors. Please stay within a reasonable distance of your launch area. At 5.30, you're allowed to then kick off or paddle off uh, and get to your spot. 6 a.m. is going to be first cast. We will fish until 3 p.m. You have until 3.01 on your clock to, sub to take your picture. So if you catch a last-minute fish, you have that full minute to get your picture of that fish. And then you have until 4 to submit it. So if you're in an area with tough service, that plays into your strategy on when you get off the water uh, and getting to an area with Wi-Fi or service that will allow you to submit your fish. Now, we do ask that you guys submit your fish as early and as often as possible. Uh, this lake does have spotty service. We know that. Um, but if you do have service, please fill up the Tourney X leaderboard. Give us something to talk about. Give all of the fans of you all in this series something to watch as they scroll through the Tourney X leaderboard all day. Um, it also helps me communicate with you as an angler. If I see something wrong in your pictures, I can say, hey, I dinged that fish for a cracked mouth. Uh, if you have a better pick, you can delete it from Manage Catch in Tourney X and resubmit a better picture that will hopefully eliminate the need for us to penalize that fish. It also helps us communicate if there are other issues within your picture, uh, if you've used the wrong identifier, if you have the up identifier upside down, uh, anything that um, would potentially make us disqualify one of your fish or penalize it. So the better, the earlier that you get your fish in, the better I have uh, time to communicate with you because after four o'clock, we're not in a position to uh, judge a fish for the first time. Um, so please, please get your pictures in early for us if you can. This is also a reminder there will be no check-in on Saturday. I will do a live meeting around 7.30 p.m. with day one updates, notes, and release of your day two ID. So you all got a day two ID. It's the white one that says day two on it. Uh, tomorrow you will take a sharpie to that ID and you will write in a three or four digit code that will be your code to use for day two. Day one you're going to use the the red uh, day one ID. Um, it says day one right up top. It's got a picture of, of uh, Texas angler Brian Howe right on the front uh, and it's got times and my number on the back. Feel free to use that uh, to reference throughout this event want to touch base on weather. As you all know, there's a very high chance of rain and some storms uh, throughout the weekend. It's pretty much been raining here for, for what seems like months. It, obviously, the lake is very high, and, and those conditions will continue to change through the weekend. But we want you to be aware of those passing storms 
Uh, the wind could get up. It could be heavy rain, maybe storms at certain times. Uh, some parts of the lake may not be affected. Others might. We want our anglers to exercise safety and caution in those scenarios. If anything becomes super uh, severe, we will communicate with you uh, through Tourney X as best we can. But once again, many of you don't have service, so it makes it challenging for us to, to reach everybody. I'm not going to go over the rules uh, point for point like I normally do. I'm going to touch base on some of the fewer finer items as they apply to this event. It is your responsibility to read and know the rules for this series. There are some things that are different in this event, uh, in the Bass Open series, that might not be the same for uh, the series that you fish back home or BASS or uh, KBF. So it is your responsibility to know those rules. I'm not going to read them to you, um, but I'm going to touch base on some finer items. You cannot block access into the water with a vehicle or other item. I know right now ramps aren't really available at most of the lake, so there are um, unique put-ins. Uh, some of those places are in public uh, camping areas or public access areas. If you're staying in one of those spots uh, and fishing the tournament, please make sure that your vehicle is not blocking that access for other anglers. A public launch access means that it's available to anyone, so you cannot block that. You can also not block navigable waters to other anglers trying to make their way through. This is a, a fun series. Please be respectful to your fellow competitors. We also want you to take a lot of pictures and video of your experience here on a once-of-a-lifetime flood here on Lake Sam Rayburn and share those not only on your page but share them into the BOS page so we can showcase what this event was for you guys. It's a reminder that I have to see your ID both days in your pictures to give you a score. As far as launching and access goes, all public access is available. If an area is gated or blocked off and says do not enter, it is not public. You cannot enter, that is trespassing. You can launch off roads, bridges, fields, ramps that are still open, public grounds that give you drivable up to that area in, in a put-in. Pretty much however you can get in legally and publicly is available to you in this event. Please be courteous of your fellow anglers at the, as these areas are limited, so we want you to park um, and access those areas being respectful to your fellow competitors. This is a closed mouth series. You must have that mouth completely closed or you will be looking at a penalty at a minimum of a half inch but up to two inches depending on the size of that bass and depending on how egregious your mouth is open. Uh, so if it's a slight crack, that isn't, uh, I mean, we don't, that's a half inch penalty here at the Bass Open Series. I will make note of that. Um, I will try to reach out to you. Um, so that is up to you to, to get the right, uh, you know, closed mouth to get the right score. Once the event starts tomorrow, you can only solicit information from fellow competitors. So you cannot ask for info about this fishery from anyone else outside of your competitor field. This is a reminder that we do not have any penalties or rules against holding the tail down, pinching the tail, or even cocking the tail a little bit to reach uh, a line. Our focus is that the mouth is shut and up against the bump. You guys have the ability to do what you need to do with the tail. Um, and, and I know some series have rules against that. You can hold the, the trunk of the tail. You can pinch the tail here in the Bass Open series. Once again, you can access the full rules at HobieBOS.com. They are your responsibility to know and understand. If you have any questions about an interpretation of the rule, uh, please reach out to me. You have my cell phone number, and you can reach out to me uh, at Facebook Messenger. While you guys are here in the Jasper, Texas area and surrounding, 
please understand that this community relies on the, the tourism from the anglers and visitors of this lake. With the current water conditions, this community isn't going to see the same traffic that they normally would. Please support these local businesses while you're here. Go to their restaurants, enjoy what they have to offer, showcase what we have to offer as a kayak community when we come into these areas. It's really important for them to know that we're here, know that they can still have tournaments. Uh, it might be a little untraditional from what they're uh, used to, but we can still come out here. We can support them. They've supported us, and that's what this is all about. And while you know how we're going to be able to come to places like Sam Rayburn in the future, we can definitely make an impact on this community. We had an opportunity to give away some great sponsor prizes during our check-in. Thanks to those 30 anglers that uh, were able to win those prizes. Some of those prizes were from our sponsors like Power Pole, Far Wide, Bassin, Lowrance, Dakota Lithium, Princeton Tech, Tacticam, Stolquist, Aftco, St. Croix, Flambeau, Railblazer, Hobie Eyewear, Marine Mat, Ingle Coolers, Sunline, and Daiwa. I want to thank all the staff at Hobie, not just here but back home, that support us and support this series to make sure that we can host this for you guys. I also want to thank Jasper, Texas for allowing us to come to their community and giving the kayak community a chance on their big stage. Thank you to Steve Fields, who is running our media operations at this event. He will be in a camera boat uh, trying to get photos of you guys um, and has some cameras on anglers' boats already uh, for the event. also want to thank our local Hobie reps, Cully and Esther, uh, for them uh, being here to support us. If you have any issues, uh, let us know. They'll be able to, to get to you uh, and hopefully uh, get you back on the water as soon as possible. But most of all, I want to thank you anglers for the support in this series, in the belief in what we're building uh, within this sport for you guys. This is all for you all. This entire series is built for the anglers. So you all sharing, coming, supporting these events uh, is what it's all about. It will help us grow and uh, help us continue to have this awesome series for you all. With that said, let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's put this event on blast for everyone to see what we're doing down here on Sam Rayburn in Jasper, Texas this weekend for the Hobie Bass Open Series anchored by PowerPole. Thank you, guys. <laughs>